the Punch Drunk ENT. You got your guy here with you, Mr. Swag No Aggie. I'm just Dan. And we are back with another react for you guys. What are we doing today? OG Booty Dubs. Ooh, we love them. We love them. Health Inspector. Me. Is it Health uh, Inspector or Food Inspector? Food Health Inspector. Whatever it is. Laugh until we can't laugh no more. Oh. going to have fun. Why should be something creepy? I'm the thumbnail. This. The thumbnail we've seen somebody stuffing a turkey. Man. I'm, 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 I'm ready for it, man. Well, let's get into it. Yes, sir. Hello. Welcome to Food Handler Training. Thank you for being able to join us today. My name is Dick Peckerson, and I'm the Chief of Environmental Health. I wonder if this is and really all my in. haters can blow me. Today, <laughs> we're going to present a short training program that is geared towards you, bitch ass health inspector boy. We plan to present all the basic bitch rules and principles. Why well, is the mouth so synced up well, though? It fire. does. Yeah. Inspector Boy, you are the first line of defense against the injustices, crimes, and forces of evil that plague the health inspection world to protect the health and safety of the public. As you view this video, try to focus on <laughs> what things are acceptable and which ones are not. Far too many lives have been lost due to an overlooked barrel of expired cheeses. I believe that the most effective way to become a legendary health inspector is to watch a legendary health inspector. And that's why I reached out to my best and brightest, Inspector Ron, to come on by and show you how oh, it's gosh. done. He should be here any second now. He's a real tough bitch. Take it away, Ron. <laughs> oh, God, this stuff stinks. <laughs> yeah, hello, I'm Inspector Ron here to do your regular city health inspection. Now, are you the only one who works at this filthy place, or...? Uh, no, usually I work with Jose, but he's out sick. You know, he was coughing up a storm the other day. I think oh, he got that coronavirus. Now they're not sure oh. if he's going to make it. Okay, is that why you're not wearing gloves? I guess so. I guess so. What else you got over here? Oh, well, I'm just over here, just probing all the chicken vaginas, making sure they're vaginas. nice and hot. Very good. I assume you sanitize that properly before sticking it in the meat. Uh, oops. Hold on, pause this real quick. Do. I well, just got to ask this question. Yeah. How, what is your feelings on buffets? I hate buffets. Okay, that's why. From, from a sanitation, like, standing, too. Yes. Yeah, okay, I so I'm not the only one that think they are so overrated. Yeah. Buffets are very much overrated. And this I is Borgata. This is Borgata's <laughs> buffet. Yeah. Uh, the only reason why I know that because we used to go there after after work hours. I used to get stuff for free. Mm, so so that's, yeah. what I, that's what I like. They got, they got some good stuff. All they right. Stuff. Well, that's what it is. Let's get back into the video. Go ahead and be your first violation of the day right there. Someone could die. And over here, you just have a straw <laughs> sitting here. Someone could trip over this and choke on or something. Okay. Trip over it? Uh, well, let's see here. Uh, oh, got a violation over here. Bingo. Straight ahead. See that? Garbage can wide open. Someone could fall Ooh. right in there and choke on that plastic bag. Okay. <laughs> so do you have stuff, yeah. stuff lying around like that? Well, we're short-staffed, so... Sounds to me like you're short-staffed in your brain. Are you eating oh, all the shit. food around here, getting fat, or are you pregnant? Because I can't really tell. Well, you know, me and my husband, we've been trying. Employees are not allowed to wear wedding rings. Oh, okay. dang. That's going to be another violation. Wearing a wedding ring in the workplace reminds other employees that are single that they do not have any love in their life and are terribly lonely. <laughs> yeah, and it also crazy. reminds them that you may be handling someone's genitals late at night, which would also <laughs> be a violation. That's okay. crazy. So many violations. Almost got you shut down. Let's see if we can't. Uh, okay. Well, you got yourself an apron on and your hair is tied nice and taut in the back. You know, it's just like little Wayne said, long hair don't care as long as Shawty <laughs> got it tied up. Then daddy can ride all night long in the same Damn. for the kitchen. We also <laughs> want your hair tied back just to make sure it doesn't get in the food. And wow, would you look at that? That wall reminds me of something. Classic flavors I don't know what. You got chocolate, strawberry, and Baja Blast. <laughs> Unfortunately, Baja they're Blast. all labeled as expired, so that's going to be a big violation. Okay. You know, people can die drinking that stuff. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> hey, you, stop right there. Yeah, you. Uh, Come back here. Uh, well, <laughs> God damn it, if it ain't Dirty Dan. I thought I told y'all to fire him last time I was here. Great, now it smells like a mixture of reefer and ass, which is going to affect the taste of the food. And he left the back door open. Great. And all the trash cans are open. No wonder why he's always coming in here. He loves living in trash cans. Dirty Dan is a no-good son of a bitch who's been making my job a living hell since the first day I started. He's a filthy rat bastard who has no respect for food, health, and safety. Yo. 
Oh, hey there, Jay. What's oh. you doing in there? Oh, God. No, not today, Ron. I can't have you doing this to me today. I just got the news that Jose got sick and died. Like, um, and I got King refrigerator Kai. duty. Yeah. And I trust me, I'm doing everything I got to do. Everything's going exactly where it's supposed to go. I can't have you on my ass today. <laughs> just give me a break. Those are expired, by the way. Huh? Just because an employee is having a bad day does not give them the right to completely disregard food health safety precautions. In this line of work, many others' lives are on the line. Just because you're mourning the loss of a fellow employee doesn't oh, give gosh. you the right to completely phone in the job and serve someone expired produce. Okay, now what are you doing? Oh, gee, Ron, please, come on, man. I got a system here. <laughs> throwing me off. I'm putting the post Oh, man, what the yeah, hell? I'm not wearing gloves either. Oh, gee, come on, Ron. I hate wearing gloves. They make my head so sweaty. Sweaty hands are actually the number one reason why employees are supposed to wear gloves in the workplace. Who wants to <laughs> bite into an apple and get a big, sweaty, salty surprise right on their lips? Uh, I tend to find it's always the overweight or obese employees that have the sweatiest of hands. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 man. Why is he going oh. in on like oh, that. Jay, what, what the hell is that sitting back there in that huh? fridge? I see a whole raw chicken just sitting out here in the yeah. oven. Oh, when it oh. comes to the meats, a chicken is like a ticking time bomb. You only have a few minutes to cook, prep, and serve it before it goes bad. Next thing you know, you got bugs growing out of it, and it starts forming a gross, gelatinous goo. And not Ugh. only is you got raw chicken out, but Jay, just down here, you got boxes just sitting yeah. there in the walkway. Yeah. Well, that box is mine because I'm in the middle of moving right now, you know? So. Jay, you can't just <laughs> have right. boxes and stuff here in the fridge area. <laughs> You know, people need to be able to walk through here. Well, yeah, but the box down here is really important. It's all my tax receipts. It's so really important to me. Now, Jay, I see you got some food over here. And I tell you the truth, I'm not even quite sure what the hell that stuff is, but it all needs expiration okay. dates written on them. You know what, Jay? I tell you what, I'm gonna take my thermometer out and poke that chicken you got over there. Go ahead. <laughs> you gotta like stop on it. Lunch. Yeah, before you do that, let me just go ahead and sanitize this, poke it, and make sure it's good for human consumption. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <laughs> thermometer says this is bird is room temperature. Jay, what the hell are you doing? Well, I had to work in here with the door open because it was so cold. <laughs> Should you find yourself in the presence of food that is questionable <laughs> in temperature, do not be Yo, afraid to use your on, properly man. sanitized thermometer. That's I cannot crazy. emphasize just how important it is to properly sanitize these <laughs> that's things. That's how many places are, though, man. That several yeah. people were using Disgusting. these in their mouths. And I won't call them out, but some very close to here where we at. Mm. Mm. Dirty Dan, you rat bastard, you've done it again. What the hell you think you're doing eating out of that sink? The other employees need to use that to wash their hands. Wash them. Wash Wash it down. Oftentimes, She's gonna take employees will seek companionship while enjoying their lunch, but that's strictly against the rules and would cause for violation. That's why I eat alone in my car. Okay, let's see here now. Oh, come. Oh, Dirty Dan. God damn it, Dirty Dan. You you motherfucker. Look at you. You're all covered in shit. You're tracking in mud. Your hands are filthy. You fucking, you fat, you fat fucker. Why don't you get the f no. fuck out of here, you piece of shit? I never hesitate to go below the belt. Oh, man. Safety. If a dirty motherfucker's trying to step up and <laughs> act wild, then so be it. I'll put him in his place. We ain't out here trying to watch out for people's feelings, folks. Sanitation comes before <laughs> feelings, which has always been the health inspector's code of honor. Dirty Dan, careful with that bird. You got the... Hey, what the fuck are you... What the hell, Dirty Dan? Are you bowling with that bird? What are you doing, you <laughs> cocksucker? You fucking... And that's Yo. that goddamn warm chicken I was telling Jay to get rid of earlier. It's room temperature. It's bad. We gotta destroy it. Always refer to your handbook for a list of activities that would prompt a violation, such as playing sports with food, fiddling around, giving high fives, wrestling, also throwing pickles up on the ceiling and seeing which one falls <laughs> first, as well as screaming out the word yeet several times, filming yeet. TikToks, playing hacky sack with the potatoes, testing the limits of the deep fryer using office supplies, and putting metals in the microwave just to name a few. What you got going on over here, Jay? Well, you know, I'm just uh, prepping all the food for tonight's shift. Prepping uh, all the food for tonight. up a storm because uh, some know-it-all <laughs> came in here and told us to make sure we're always wearing gloves. Sounds smart. Now this is something <laughs> I like to see, folks. Everything's labeled correctly. Sugar bin looks good. Wait a minute, what the hell is it? Oh, 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 you got some trash in the sugar bin. A used styrofoam uh -oh. cup. Someone could have choked on that. Good job getting that out of there, Ron. You're employee of the month for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the dry storage now. It's pretty straightforward. I can already mm -hmm. tell most of this stuff is expired. And uh, it's just down here. Well, would you fucking look at that? A whole bag of sugar wide open. Come on in, rats and ants. We're open for business, apparently. <laughs> And it looks like we got some kind of salsa up here that says picante de culo. 
<laughs> I've heard of that brand. You should always be weary of foreign sauces and if you don't know what the content of Kulo means. The that are written in languages you, you don't understand. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> I always tell my new recruits, if you can't read it, then you probably shouldn't be putting it in your mouth. God damn, Jennifer, I like the way you're washing those hands, you dirty girl. Uh, thanks, Ron. <laughs> Here comes dumbass Dan making me proud. Oh, my God. Dirty Dan, what's with all that blood? Whose blood is that, Dirty Dan? And that's the wrong fucking sink, you idiot. God damn it, you're making a mess. Do we need to call a doctor? In this line of work, you will come across a lot of blood, so consider this a professional courtesy. And although rare, you may come across other bodily fluids. If you cannot immediately identify a sauce as a ketchup or a mayonnaise, it's best to simply just destroy it. <laughs> hey, Jay, I don't know what the hell you think you're doing with that, but you can't take leftovers from the day and take them home. You didn't pay for it. Oh, but, uh, Sorry. I, I, you're going to have to throw that out. <sighs> okay, perfectly fine chili riata. I was going to bring Jose's family to the hospital. Yeah, and Jay, oh, I noticed gosh. you got this bowl over here. It seems to be filled with, I don't know what the hell it is. It looks like milk or something. It's god-awful. It needs to be thrown out. Hold on, let me see. That's still oh, okay. good. I'll eat it. A lot of people yeah. seem to think it's okay to eat food that's expired just because it looks good, smells good, and hey, it might even taste better. But unless you don't enjoy the thrill of diarrhea, I'd suggest not. Well, 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 there's something I thought I'd never see. Dirty Dan doing some cleaning. You know, I'm proud of you, Dan, for stepping up and doing some mopping. <laughs> Making the place look. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, God. Dirty Dan. What Do it the over his hell, car. man? Damn, That's my how... Prius you just covered with all that shitty poop water. You're supposed to go dump the water out back away from the cars. You take that mop right now and you go clean the shitter, you fucking cocksucking asshole. <laughs> Why are you snapping on Dan like that? Dirty Dan. God damn it. I was standing here listening the whole time. You stunk up this kitchen. Something fierce with those butt cheeks of yours clapping out turds. You're supposed to be in there cleaning. <laughs> now I gotta yeah. fucking go in here and inspect it. Oh god, it smells like someone took a shit inside of a raw chicken. And of course, look, he used all the toilet paper, left the water running. There's shit stains all over the place, and yeah. it looks like he hit a turd in the trash can. I'd love to stand here and point out more violations, but I just can't stand the smell. And uh, I'm afraid all this cooking wear here is way too close to the bathroom with all the poop droplets traveling through the air. We're going to have to throw them out. <laughs> there should never be any cooking wear stored within 20 feet of the bathroom at all times. All it takes is one dirty right, ass right, right. I can imagine how he really talks. Yeah. I'm just, I want to so see the original video now today. It's like that with most of these videos. All like the, the poop Power Ranger one. I want to see the original yeah. video. <laughs> God knows what's going on in that bathroom. You can transfer things like E. coli and other STDs to your customers. <laughs> and although it may sound like common sense, I must reiterate at all times that masturbation and sexual relations inside the bathroom is strictly prohibited and will cause the violation. <laughs> Well, it looks like I've completed <laughs> my health inspection, so let's have a look at all the violations here. Your heat lamps have black mold. Several employees Damn. have told me they don't have thermometers, so they use their finger to check food temperatures. <laughs> the refrigerator is not cold enough, and all your pots and pans are covered in shit particles. Uh, this is definitely a failing test score, and by the looks of all these violations, uh, we're going to get really well acquainted. I'm going to have to keep on coming back here every week till we Damn. get it right. And there you have it, folks. That's a typical day in the life of being a health inspector. Back there, you look so bad. All sorts God of violations <laughs> and how to keep your cool and not lose your <laughs> shit in the presence of a dirty goddamn Dan. And hey. before we sign off, I would like to inform you of something very important. The employee known as Dirty Dan is actually a Daniel Castro, a wanted felon in the local <laughs> area. Contact the authorities <laughs> if you see him. Uh, Once again, we appreciate you joining us today. I hope you have learned something that you might not have known before. Make sure you click that subscribe button, wow. like, and share this video. That was hilarious, Yo, bro. That I was, knew he was going to get something weird. <laughs> yeah, that, was that was hilarious, bro. <laughs> now I'm scared of all food critics. Now I'm be looking at every food of every restaurant I go to. Yeah, we used to, like, when I worked around food, like, people used to get, luckily I was never there when the health inspector came in. Mm -hmm. But I always heard it is extremely, extremely stressful. Oh yeah, so I can't. That's why imagine. I can't get into the restaurant business. Not I like, can't. Yo, I'm not gonna have somebody over like you stressing and sweating with this guy checking your food all the time. Yeah, so, and especially especially if your if it's your business. Yeah, you got to make sure what, you got good employees. People ain't out here messing up shit. Yeah. So man, that's tough business. They can have it. So, that was another React video with you guys on the Djibouti Dub tip. Make sure you guys check out our streamer links. Make sure you check out our merch. Tell them about the merch. That merch, I hear it feels real good on your body. Yeah. So, I think y'all should try that, man. Yes, sir. We are Facebook gamers. 
We're on Twitch. We do it all, man. This is Punch Drunk ENT, Punch Drunk Reacts, Mr. Swag No Aggie. I'm just Dan. We out. I just think-